hip-hop. So this is what I'm saying. When you start looking at hip-hop, if you're just saying, like, again, look at that poster. Chuck D, KRS, EPMD, Eric B and Rockham, Gangstar, Flash, Bambada, Cool Herp. You're looking at mm -hmm. strong black men, the forefront. Right. right. Now it's it's Macklemore and Ryan Lewis out there looking like vanilla or ice. Or blackheads in skirts. Or, or or right, exactly. Or Kanye niggas who gonna wear skirts and, Bright and, red and, ass and shoes. blouses and shit. Right. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And then trying to justify that. Kendrick Lamar, who yo, that motherfucker, I'm just saying. If you're taking Kendrick Lamar and then you're taking somebody like that cat, uh, Jasari X out of Pittsburgh. Right. Jasari X, maybe in 95, is the next Chuck D. True. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now that nigga he won't get, get past. Pressed. Yeah, <laughs> he he won't get, get past the, you know, he can't even get in his stadium. Right. Up against Kendrick Lamar and them niggas who going to be singing about rainbows. No doubt. No doubt. But the bottom line is, as again... Fucking end of the show. Tire his rubber hits the road. Commercial hip hop is a speck in the history of hip hop as a whole. B. It it, it is, but again, but it's like, made a lot of money, and I think that's what what catches people's well, attention. Money, is the money see, being but, made. But you got to remember, see, you fighting, and I think for the digest, you were fighting for. I'm just fighting for a re, not even a reset, but I'm saying. Don't put Macklemore and them niggas next to Eric B and Rock. Kim oh, but I've never panties. seen that. I've no, never oh, seen that. B. Well, but see, it's early because it's early. Okay, okay. Wait till, wait till. Okay, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some recent history. I'm gonna give you some recent history. Recent history will tell you that, and I'm only saying Southern hip hop. But recent history will tell you there was a lot of Southern acts that people may have wanted to say, yo, he, she, they were great. Okay? You talking Maybe, about outside of Outcast? I'm talking about, in the, this is what I'm talking about. If you say Southern groups that are going to stand next to the New York greats, uh -huh. right? okay, you could say Ghetto Boys, you could say Outcast. You know, Ape on gotcha. MJG. You uh -huh. could probably say things like that. Right. But see, the okay? thing is, but who you're that, not going to say? Time, though, when they came up, niggas in New York thought Outkast and niggas was whack. I don't niggas think so. Them, them niggas was whack, B. I think there was a certain there's segment a certain of segment that. that. But, but, but the point is, okay, them still the niggas was but, whack. But, but, but wow. just like Bum B is always proud to say, no, not Bum B, just like Scarface is always proud to say, is that we came from where we came from when we was going to represent that, but that is New York. That's hip hop. Right, right. That's where it was. That's where it began. So we had to meet their standard. Right. And that's why you could put them next to these guys. Okay. okay? Yeah. There were a lot of groups who you may have thought. I'm just to me, Goody Mob was one of those groups. Yeah, I, I would. Have Everybody was like, "Oh yeah, well, Outkast, Goody," because they in that same clip. But really, now can you really put Outkast? I mean, can you really put? I mean, Goody in Goody that? Uh, you really can't. Early. Not on the same level. You not really even early? No, not, nah, not even nah. early. Damn. You really can. You know what I'm saying? And okay. that goes for any other coast. Just like the slew of West Coast guys. Domino was huge as shit. <laughs> now, you, you laugh now. I, I was laughing then. You talking yeah, about that, that, sweet, that, potato sweet potato pie? pie nah, Come on, me. Nah, 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 to the life of me, and one of the segments I'm going to bring out is... Uh, uh, is I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I got all those source magazines, and I'm going to bring out record reviews and all of that shit to bolster us. Okay, all right. And I, the the guy who lit, rated Domino's album, and he literally said, Domino made the album Snoop should have made. Wow. Don't tell me about no motherfucking Domino, my nigga, because he was humongous. Okay. Yeah. But can you put him next to the legend? Nope. Hell, what Snoop's been doing the last seven years is fucking his legacy up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you you gonna have motherfuckers putting an asterisk by his name, probably like the first album and a half, and then they gonna wanna get his shit out of there. <laughs> 
Do, 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 so do. when you say commercial <laughs> hip hop, but I'm just saying, but when you say commercial hip hop, somebody somewhere on a certain time, and I think even now, and maybe Kendrick, maybe Drake, but somebody's going to be like, yo, this nigga is just as good as, influential as, purposeful as Rakim, and that's where you got to draw some motherfucking lines. Oh, that shit, line my would nigga. definitely well, be drawn, Well, but I'm just dude. saying, so you keep saying niggas is, is, is all into the commercial shit. They all into commercial shit because a lot of these young boys know... And a motherfucking smart nigga like Sim, he's one of these young boys who know, you know what? This now shit is not what's going to carry you because the now shit is over tomorrow. It's your legacy yep. that lasts forever.